I met Joshua and his family uh, several months ago. Uh, they were looking for treatment options. Joshua had been suffering from uh, complications from sickle cell disease since very early uh, childhood. He needed to be admitted to the hospital at once, sometimes twice in a month. Blood transfusion needed very strong pain medications. And of course, this interfered with his regular childhood growth, uh, ability to go to school. Uh, and we know that as he got older, the complications would only get worse. The symptoms that he always experienced with the, with the crisis were mostly the backache and the, the, the joint pains, which was so tough on him. It was so frequent that every month he was out of school because he had to stay in hospital for admission. I got recommended to Max Hospital in Dia Vaishali by my doctor in Kenya. I came to Max under Dr. Isha Kaul, very nice doctor, nice team. Uh, we did an evaluation of uh, his brothers and sisters and luckily his younger brother, who fortunately is not suffering from sickle, was a half match. And uh, with that, we discussed all treatment options and went ahead with a half match or haploidetical stem cell transplantation. The treatment started, we came in August and the treatment started, we stayed in hospital for one month, that is 30 days. During the chemo and the treatments, we were happy with the whole thing. Joshua now is doing fine. There's no more crisis. There's no more pains that he was experiencing. He's been good all along. I underwent chemotherapy, so many sessions. When treatment started, I became fine. I'm currently doing well. So there were ups and downs of the treatment, but the doctors took care of it, nothing really major. And I'm now good, really doing well. I'm happy to the doctor and Max for the treatment, for the cure. I just want to say my thank yous. Uh, this is, was a long journey. He was in the hospital for a full one month during the uh, core period of the transplant. Uh, after that, he's been in follow-up now for three months and gradually um, the medications uh, that, uh, that he's requiring have come down. He's well now. We thank the Max team, we thank the nurses, we thank mostly Dr. Aisha Kaul for the good work and her team that they did on Joshua. We are thankful for everything and we are quite okay now. We are ready to go back to Kenya. Joshua is okay. He can go back to school now and have his normal life. So it's important for uh, everyone to know and have this message that sickle cell, uh, you don't have to live with the disease, you don't have to live with the terrible consequences of the disease. Uh, if we do a proper workup and evaluation of the patient and other family members, especially if we are able to do earlier in the life, then the results of bone marrow transplantation are very good and have gotten better and bone marrow transplant for sickle cell is now a very safe and effective treatment option. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.